Core Concepts for Open Architecture AV Design Chapter 8 Programming ARC 2E, SW4E, K1E, EX4E, and RC3 wall panels The goals for this chapter are List different control types in Symmetric's ARC series and provide use cases Apply control numbers in Composer to link parameters to controllers Create and edit menus and menu items for appropriate controllers Set and change addresses for ARC controllers Use ARC2E to control basic audio functions and complex logic-based events. Program the ARC SW4E switches as momentary, latched, or radio buttons. Configure a simple control of one or two parameters using ARC K1E. Use simple analog controls and external control inputs to provide volume control, source selection, preset selection, or contact closure with minimal programming. This chapter covers programming Symmetric's ARC wall panels, including the ARC 2E, modular ARCs, and the analog RC3 remote control. One line of Symmetric's remote control devices is the ARC series. Also offered and considered in the same family is the RC3 analog control. While not strictly speaking an ARC controller, the RC3 is a very useful and simple to use device. It is often employed in projects with additional ARC controllers, so we'll talk about it here. Composer uses control numbers to identify which parameter to adjust based on the control command from the ARC control. The ARC 2E displays up to 24 menus, each with up to 16 items. These are used to control basic audio functions such as volume, preset, and source selection, or complex logic-based events such as room combining. To assign a parameter to an ARC 2E, right-click on the specific object to be controlled, like a fader handle. Then select Setup to Remote Control. From the Setup Remote Control window, choose Add New Arc. Select Arc 2E from the drop-down menu, then select OK. The Arc 2E will be created, then either auto-assign the remote control number to the object, or specify a control number by selecting Configure. The fader in this example is now programmed for Arc 2E control. To edit a menu, double-click the desired menu, or select the menu and select the Edit button. ARC description displays the ARC 2E name and can be edited with up to 31 characters. The RS485 address is used to set or change the ARC addressing in Composer. To change the physical address of an ARC 2E, use the dial switches on the rear. Make sure the RS485 address in Composer matches the physical address of the ARC. The ones dial changes the single digit address such as 1, 2, 6, 9, etc. While the tens dial changes the two digit addresses. 10, 20, 60, 90, and so on. These dials combine to create mid-decade addresses. For example, address 25 would place the 10s dial at 2 and the 1s dial at 5. Address 10 would simply place the 10s dial at 1 and the 1s dial at 0. Address 2 would have the 10s dial at 0 and the 1s dial at 2. The menu section of the Edit Arc 2E window is used to edit or remove selected menus and add preset menus. To edit a menu, double-click the desired menu or select the menu and select the Edit button. This section of the Edit Arc 2E menu is used for allowing the Arc's menu button to function as an Enter key, as well as programming the menu to wrap around or scroll between the available items. The Edit Arc 2E menu is used to edit the unique name of the menu, up to 31 characters. It is also used to edit the remote control number of the selected menu. Continuous menu controls include low limit, high limit, and initial value. The scale value for setting incremental steps is set by adjusting the resolution slider. The default value is 3.571% and equals a 3 dB increment. The enumerated menu section controls include initial menu item number, menu item order, item name, and item value. A preset menu can be added from the Edit Arc 2E window by selecting Add Preset Menu. The menu items portion of this window is used to add, remove, and reorder the items of the preset menu. To edit the name of an item or set an item as the default, use the drop-down menu to select the item. Then edit the name or check the box to make it the default item. Preset menus can also be set to require a menu button press to recall the selected preset, and the menu can be programmed to wrap around or scroll between the available items. The menu brightness, inactive behavior, and idle behavior are set in this section of the Edit Arc 2E window. To set a display message for when the Arc 2E is idle, Check the box for display message and enter the message into the text field. The Add Notes button opens the Notes dialog box to enter or edit notes for the ARC menu currently being edited. The final step is to save the ARC programming. The ARC SW4E features four buttons that are programmable as momentary latched or radio buttons. In this example, the ARC SW4E is programmed as a preset trigger. 
The LEDs of the SW4E indicate which of the four presets are active. To program the ARC SW4E buttons as preset triggers, first program and store four presets. Add a four-button radio module from the toolkit under control modules. Control inputs. Now from the toolkit under control modules, control accessories, add two dual preset triggers. Wire the four-button radio module to the preset triggers. Next, open each of the preset triggers and enter the preset number to be activated. Now, go back and open the four-button radio module and label each of its buttons with its respective preset names. Then, right-click on the fader at the bottom of the module and select Setup to Remote Control. From the Setup Remote Control window, select Add New Arc. From the drop-down menu, select Arc SW4E. Next, either auto-assign the control number or specify the control number to be assigned to the radio button fader. Then select OK. The ARC SW4E has now been assigned control of the fader. Next, open Remote Control Manager and double-click Modular ARC from the ARCs tab that will open the Edit Modular ARC window. Use the dial switches on the rear of the ARC SW4E to set the physical address. Make sure the physical address of the ARC matches the address in Composer. Auto-dim and locking features are also enabled from the main tab of the Edit Modular ARC window. The main tab of the Edit Modular ARC window is used to edit up to 31 characters of the description of the ARC. It is also used to set the RS-485 address in Composer. The Switches tab is used to select the operational mode of the ARC SW4E. The different modes are Disabled, Independent Switches, Radio Button, or Custom Radio Button. Knob Select and Set is reserved for a modular ARC using an ARC K1E and ARC EX4E, which will be explained later in this chapter. The ARC SW4E is a preset trigger in this example. Only one preset is active at a time, so radio button is the selected operational mode. The control number assigned from the setup remote control window is already assigned to this ARC. If independent switches or custom radio buttons had been chosen, the drop-down menu would be used to assign a separate control number to each switch or button. When in independent switches or custom radio button modes, Individual switches can be set to trigger presets, act as momentary switches, or have a particular button be on at power up. The on and off value of each switch or button may also be set in these modes. These options are not available in radio button mode. Now, configure the LEDs of the ARC SW4E. For the radio button example, the LEDs are set to automatically match the switch that has been selected. When using independent switches and custom radio buttons, individual operations or control numbers may be assigned to the LEDs. Because radio buttons are being used, the control number of the four radio button module is also used for the LEDs. The ARC K1E features a push-button rotary encoder providing simple control of one or two parameters in the Symmetrix DSP hardware. This is typically used for volume control. To program the ARC K1E, start with the channel one fader of a gain module. Right-click the fader and select Setup to Remote Control, then choose Add New Arc. From the drop-down menu, choose Arc K1E. The Arc K1E will then be added to the list of available remote control devices. Use the drop-down menu to assign the fader control to encoder 1A. Next, either auto-assign the control number or specify the control number to be assigned to the channel 1 gain fader, then select OK. Go back to the gain module, right-click the fader for channel 2 and select Setup to Remote Control. Notice the ARC K1E is already selected. Use the drop-down menu to select encoder 1B. Next, either auto-assign the control number or specify the control number to be assigned to the channel 2 gain fader. Then select OK. Control assignments have now been set for both faders. Open Remote Control Manager and select Modular ARC from the ARC tab. The main tab of the Edit Modular ARC window is used to edit up to 31 characters of the description of the ARC. It is also used to set the address for the ARC in Composer. Use the dial switches on the back of the ARC K1E to set the physical address of the ARC. Make sure the physical address of the ARC matches the address in Composer. Auto dim and locking features are enabled from the main tab of the Edit Modular ARC window. The Knobs tab is used to edit or adjust settings for each encoder. Use the drop down menu to change between encoder A and encoder B. Each encoder is enabled or disabled from this window. The control number can also be edited here. Use the resolution slider to adjust the dB increment per click. The default is 1.190% and is equal to 1 dB per click. The initial value, low value, and high value can all be adjusted to customize the amount of end user control. Wrap values and LED scaling can be selected from the Edit Modular Arc window. 
Use the LED display mode drop-down menu to choose between disabled, one on at a time, bar up, and bar down modes. Bar up is the default mode for the ARC K1E. To require a confirmation by pressing the encoder before it sends the control value, check the box under encoder options. Now, select OK to complete the programming of the ARC K1E. The ARC EX4E is identical in function to the ARC SW4E and provides a low-cost method to expand the capabilities of either an ARC SW4E or an ARC K1E. Up to four ARC EX4E can combine with a single ARC K1E, and up to three ARC EX4E can combine with a single ARC SW4E. The ARC EX4E cannot be used as a standalone ARC, nor can it be combined with an ARC 2E or ARC 3. The programming and configuration of a combination of an ARC SW4E and an ARC EX4E is the same process as configuring the ARC SW4E, except more buttons are available. The programming and configuration of the combination of an ARC K1E and an ARC EX4E provides the knob select and set option. This allows control of multiple faders from a single encoder. To program for knob select and set, first open the module to be controlled. Right-click the first fader and select Setup to Remote Control. From the Setup Remote Control window, select Add New ARC. Next, select ARC K1E plus 1 ARC EX4E from the drop-down menu. Next, select OK and then open Remote Control Manager. From Remote Control Manager, select the Modular ARC from the ARC tab. Three tabs are displayed, Main, Switches, and Knobs. Just like ARC SW4E and ARC K1E, use the Main tab to edit the ARC description. Edit the ARC address in Composer and enable or disable auto dim and lock settings. Next, from the Switches tab, choose Knob Select and Set for the operational mode. Then, select the Knobs tab. Individual encoder controls are the same as an ARC K1E. Use the drop down menu to select the desired encoder to assign the fader. Eight encoders are now available for control assignment, four each on the A and B side of the ARC. Select encoder number one, a switch one. Then select OK. Go back to the Gain module. Right-click the Channel 2 fader and select Setup Remote Control. In the Setup Remote Control window, the ARC has been selected already. Use the drop-down menu to select Encoder 1 a Switch 2, then select OK. Repeat these steps for the remaining faders. To verify all the assignments have the correct control numbers and faders, open Remote Control Manager and expand the ARC just configured. Now, selecting each button will cause the encoder to move the corresponding assigned fader. Many systems require only a simple and cost-effective single point of control. For these situations, analog controls are connected to Symmetrix DSP's external control inputs to provide volume control, source selection, preset selection, or contact closure, all with minimal programming. To program analog control on a Symmetrix DSP, first right-click on the DSP and choose Unit Properties, then choose Configure External Control Inputs. In this example, POT is selected for input 1 to configure it as a variable control. Physically connect the RC3 to the DSP and use the Configure External Control window to calibrate and set minimum and maximum levels. Open the module to be controlled and right-click on the channel gain fader. Choose Setup to Remote Control to open the Remote Control Wizard. Choose Local Analog Input of the DSP. The RC3 should be physically connected to this. Then use the drop-down menu to select the analog input the knob is connected to. The analog knob has now been configured. To configure a switch or contact closure, the basic process is the same. To configure the mute of the same module to be controlled by an analog switch, select input number 2 from the Configure External Control Inputs window. To configure a switch or contact closure, the basic process is the same. Right-click on the mute button and select Setup to Remote Control, then choose Local Analog Input. Because pot 1, which would be the same connection location as switch 1A, choose switch 2A from the analog control dropdown. Click OK. The analog switch has now been configured to control the mute button. One line of remote control devices from Symmetrix are called adaptive remote controls or ARCs. Control numbers identify which parameter to adjust based on the control command from the ARC control. To assign a parameter to an ARC 2E, right click on the specific parameter to be controlled, then select Setup to Remote Control. From the Setup Remote Control window, choose Add New Arc. To edit a menu, double-click it, or select it and click Edit. Arc description displays the Arc 2E name and can be edited with up to 31 characters. The RS-485 address is used to set or change the Arc addressing. The Arc 2E displays up to 24 menus, 
each with up to 16 items used to control basic audio functions such as volume, preset, and source selection or complex logic-based events such as room combining. The ARC SW4E features four switches that are programmable as momentary, latched, or radio buttons. The ARC K1E features a push-button rotary encoder providing simple control of one or two parameters. Many systems only require a simple and cost-effective single point of control. For these situations, analog controls are connected to Symmetric's DSP external control inputs to provide volume control, source selection, preset selection, or contact closure.